Hello everybody and welcome to a new series. <clears throat> so yes, a new series and today's series and this new series is going to be Stardew Valley. I've been looking forward to playing this. I've had a few attempts at recording. But unfortunately my recording software has decided to stop recording after so many minutes. So, here we are, Stardew Valley, so, let's get into it. A new game. So here we are. Let's have a look. I've had a little go, as I said. So let's change our shirt to that one. Our pants cover, let's change that to green, I think I had it. Yeah. Hmm. Does his shirt colour change? Woohoo! <coughs> I think we'll have that. Yeah, I think we'll just keep that as that. And let's go. Kent Parrows. No, 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 no. Kent Parrows. Here we are. That's the name of my character, because that is me. Name of the farm. So let's have a look. We had, well, we do have Kentish Farm. Because I am from Kent in the land of the UK. Favourite thing. Hmm. Don't know. Chinese? Let's say Chinese. I love Chinese. So we go for some Chinese. Yeah, let's go for Chinese. Do we want a dog or do we want a cat? Let's have a cat. So here are the places you can start in. Standard farm, simple plot of land with a large amount of open space design your farm. Sounds excellent. Riverland. Your farm. <sighs> People in the background shouting, I do apologise. Your farm is spread across several islands of scenic riverbanks. Fish are more common here than usual. Sounds interesting if you're a fisherman. Forest. The woods limit your farming space, however, the bounty of your forest is nearly at your doorstep. Mm. Cool. Hilltop farm. Rocky terrain and a winding river make it difficult to design your farm. However, a mineral deposit provides mining opportunities. Cool. And last but not least, wilderness farm. There's plenty of good land here, but beware, at night the monsters come out. <laughs> hey, you know what, let's go for a wilderness farm. Bit of monster hunting at the same time. Yeah, there we go. Wilderness farm, dangers at night, lots of plenty of land. This sounds exciting. I guess we have to be in, in the house or somewhere safe before darkness, but we will see. Let's go. Okay. The, the music's nice. I really like the music. Ah, oh, what's this? It's a fire, a sword, a picture. Oh, and for my very special grandson. Hmm. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Okay, thank you, Gramps. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. Let's get closer. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Mm-hmm. 
and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Okay, Gramps, thank you for your insight there. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Cool. Thank you, Gramps. Now let Grandpa rest. So, so many years later. Joja. Some geezers in there. Flashing work light. Okay, some fans. Lots of light. Tappy, tappy, tappy on the keyboard. He's smashing his keyboard or his mouse. He do not like it. She's giving it a good old finger bashing. He's been terminated. That geezer loves his job too much. And he's on the meds. Um, not sure what he's doing. Looks like he's sleeping, maybe. Some poor geezer died on the end there. She's just staring at the thing and... Here we are. Right. Ah. The letter. Well, what's happening now then? Have I got to do... Oh, I've got to do it. Oh, dear. Let's grab that letter then. Jeez. Sitting here waiting. If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Okay. I've enclosed a deed to that place, my pride and joy, Kentish Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was the most precious gift of all and now it's yours. I know you'll honour the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Cool. <clears throat> well. Let's go. Hello, we're on the coach. Pink car, pink flowers. Something that looks like a hedgehog in the grass. No, maybe not hedgehogs. Maybe just rocks. <coughs> Stardew Valley. 0.5 a mile away. And a Tweety Bird. But that is a great view. Okay. Buses stopping and driving off. Nope, just a strange noise. Hello, you must be Ken Powers. Hello, Robin. You are cute. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you to wait, show you the way to your new home. He's right there now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here. If you'll follow me. I'd love to follow you, Robin. Let's have a look. Interesting, nice little house. Loads of logs. Loads of mess and weeds and rubble everywhere. This is Kentish Farm. Cool. Uh, okay, funny jump. What's the matter? To worry apparently sure it's a bit of overgrown but there's some good soil underneath that mess with a little dedication you'll have it cleaned up in no time oh, right, I think the old noise in the background is finished let's read that again with a little de dedication you'll have it cleaned up in no time Okay, a lot of mess. It's Christmas. It is actually Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. And we are here playing Stardew Valley. We have loads of noise and gifts being wrapped in the, in the background now. And here we are, your new home. Thank you, Robin. I love that smile. 
Bro, jeez, mate, who are you? Are you the new farmer? Ah, it's Lewis. Gramp says hello. Welcome, I'm Lewis Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Well, thank you, Lewis. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. Yes, I am, Lewis. Thank you very much. Yep, thanks for looking after it. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic? Yeah, I must admit, it does look a bit rustic. Got a hole in the deck, but it looks rustic. Ah, oh, new home. Rustic, that's no way to put it. Okay, <laughs> smirky face. Crusty might be a little bit more, more apt, though. Well, thanks, Robin. Crusty, thank you. Rude! Don't let her account Paris. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied that you buy one of her house upgrades. House upgrades? Sounds like a good idea for a house upgrade. <clears throat> I do like little faces. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. I think I will, Lewis. Thank you. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town and get um, a bit and introduce yourselves. Introduce yourself, should I say. Well, thank you, Lewis. The townspeople would appreciate that. Okay, will do. I'll see you later, Lewis. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Great, the man that sniffs around your house at night. Mm. Don't like, don't like the uh, idea of that. But we'll see. Well, good luck. Well, thank you, Lewis. And goodbye to you too, Robin. Well, saving, 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 we are say, ooh, your progress has been saved. Okay, move and check. Mm. 6 a.m. Right, let's have a look. We've got, uh, what's this? Parsnip seeds and a new journal entry. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. My God, he even enters your house while you're sleeping. Jesus. Scary. Very scary. But never mind. Okay, what have we got? We've got our, uh, we can do this. Let's go on to there. We're getting started. Okay, cultivate and harvest the parsnip. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to, to, to till the soil. Then use a seed packet on that tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Coolio. Hmm. Okay, is that the only thing we've got over there? Ah, instructions, or introductions, shall I say. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Hmm. Okay, cool. So I need to certainly go into, I believe it might be options, and auto run on. Always show tool hit and placement indicators. Anything else I need to worry about? Sound and music. Let's take the music down. That's about there. 
Let's take that sound to about there and ambient sound will leave where it is. Footsteps, dialogue, typing sound, yes, right. Lock toolbar, not sure about that. Okay, that's it. Wrong way about that. Collections, what can we do here? Things to collect, wow. Achievements. Different kinds of fish, some artifacts. Uh, minerals, cooking, mm. and achievements. Sounds like a good idea to try and sort that out. We also have crafting stuff. 50 wood to make a chest. Oh look, that's where I'm at. That's where we are. Wow. Where's the bus stop? What's this up here? Don't know what that is. Don't think I've been. Oh, community centre, Pierre's General Store, Mayor's Manor. Hmm, that's cool. What else do we have? We have social. Ah. Looks like I've got about ten hearts on each person. That looks good. It's quite a few person by the looks of it. Skills, farming skills, mining skills, foraging, combat. That looks all good too. Newcomer. And inventory. Don't get much inventory, that's for sure. And we've got 500 gold. Right, okay, what's this? Organize. Okay. Oh, that's better. Let's have a look over here. Weather report. Hmm. Forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day. Cool. Beautiful sunny day. Anything else? Fortune teller. Ah, yes. I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. No, I don't care. And living off the land. Welcome to the living off the land. You're, we are back again with another tip for all of you. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Oh, cool. Let's get outside. <coughs> And it is a beautiful day, so we need to plant some parsnips and clear some of this stuff. Jeez, what's this? What is this? What's the controls again? Aha, square to smacky, smacky stuff. Okay, we'll do some of that. Uh, let's go down to, it looks like an axe. Okay, dokie. Let's take this tree out. <coughs> Timber! Wow. Look at that wood. Let's go get some of that wood. So, where shall I start planting stuff? What I think I'll do. Let's just clear some of this. I'm going to take that tree down. No, nope, wrong place. Timber! Kaboom! Let's get over there and get all that lovely stuff. Oh, the axe can even chop up weeds. That's cool. Right, what could that do? Nothing on that. Okay, the axe can't do everything. Oh, a stone and some coal. Let's take this tree out one more time. You can shake it. Wow. Can I shake that? 
No. Can I shake anything else? Hmm. Interesting. So we continue doing this. Let's get this out of oh, no, let's get this out of the way. That's it, cool. Open this up. I might leave that tree there actually. Sounds like a good idea to me. Let's clear some of this. And no. And just for luck. Let's take this one out. Oh hello, what's going on? Your axe isn't strong enough to break this stump. Oh, I thought I broke the axe. Okay. So it said, take the hoe. Look at the size of this lake. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Okay. Okay, let that go, it can't be done. 